Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to be unboxing this AEG Powerforce bagged cylinder vacuum cleaner. This was kindly supplied to me by one of my biggest supporters, Patrick from the USA, who chose this for my Amazon wish list. So let's have a look. And one of the reasons I liked it, and I think it's also one of the reasons Patrick chose it, he liked the colour, which should be a nice chocolate brown with a little bit of orange. So here we have it. So this is a bagged cylinder vacuum. I would say it was sort of on a par with the Miele C1, you know, the entry level Miele. I'd say this was going to be a similar type of machine to that. Nice flexible hose, seems pretty tough. Obviously that's the cleaner end. And uh, you've got a nice little seal on it as well. And this is the handle end, so obviously I have to click in the handle. We've got guarantee card here, two year guarantee with this AEG. And we've got also, the, of course, the instruction manual. First thing out, let's just shove along a bit. Shh, that's it, there we go. First thing out is a quite a short, stubby little crevice tool. Not sure what the diameter of these are. It's not like the AEG Ultra One Green that I unboxed and reviewed on my channel, which has uh, very distinctive oval shaped accessories that you can't really use other tools with unless you use an adapter. This is more traditional round shape. Here you have a little clip, which I assume will clip on the handle to hold the small cleaning tools. There's no tool storage on board, it's on the handle. I've seen that nozzle somewhere before. I can't think where, but I've definitely unboxed a vacuum with that nozzle. So this is your upholstery stair curtain nozzle. Whoops. With your red litter pickers to deal with your threads and fibers and pet hair. This is well, slightly different, slightly different to the one illustrated. You often get that with vacuums. This is your sort of dedicated hard floor or parquet nozzle. You've got some grooves at the front. It's still, I think it still will snow plough larger particles even with those grooves. Uh, I can see it snow ploughing rolled oats even before I've done the demo. But um, you've got brushes either side they're not felt wheels, but they're rubbery wheels, so they shouldn't mar your hard floor surfaces. There seems to be a parking bracket on the back as well. So that's if you've got a lot of hard floors to clean, you can use that nozzle. And we also got your regular carpet and floor nozzle. Mmm, I think that's probably better. It's, it's a little bit reminiscent to the nozzle on the Welco vac, which skipped along the carpet, but I think it is different. Hopefully it will not skip like the Welco one. It's all plastic, so you've got plastic base plate. You've got two gray litter pickers either side of the suction opening. You've got two wheels. Uh, there is some bellows in there, a bit hidden. They're not sort of exposed like some vacuums. And we've also got a brush that lowers at the front and at the back for cleaning hard floors. So for most people, if you've got a mixture of carpets and hard floors, that should be the only nozzle you need to fit for that. You can just go over onto your hard floors by pressing the pedal. And you've also got, of course, a little parking bracket on the side there. So that's all the cleaning tools, apart from the telescopic tube here. So this is pretty bog standard affair. I've seen this particular style on other makes as well. You've got your little lever. Not a bad length, probably a little bit longer than the Hoover ones I've unboxed of late. So that's your fairly lightweight 
metal tube. And then finally, before we get the cleaner, and then that is reminiscent actually of my Miele uh, C1 Eco line, that uh, the white one that I unboxed. It's got a very long, long tube there. You've got suction control. And I assume those two little lugs, can we see them sticking up there, are uh, where you put, possibly, looks like it will, I think that's where you'd clip in the little caddy to hold the tools. So obviously we need to put the hose into that. Make sure it goes around the right way. There we go, that's it, I think. Let's push it in until it clicks. Yeah, there we go. There we are, that's in. Well, it hasn't clicked, but it is in. So if I want to release that, there are two buttons either side I can press in to release it, should there be a blockage. So it's a nice curved handle, a little bit of a textured panel here to aid with the grip. So that's, I like having a slightly longer length on the handle because it means when you use the cleaning tools directly on, you're not stooping. Sometimes, if you're cleaning your upholstery, and you're connecting the attachment direct to the handle. If it's a short handle, you might find yourself stooping a bit um, and then having to put on the extension wand, but then it might be a bit too high. So I quite like having a slightly elongated handle for that. So there's that. So here we go, here's the vacuum. Relatively light. Don't think there's anything else in the box. We can pop the box out the way, remove the wrapping, oh, it is lovely, lovely chocolate brown, it's making me hungry. So we've got the swing ticket, the energy label, so let's pop that there, let's have a look at it, I've got it on here as well. So it's an A for energy use, I'll check the wattage, I think it's 700 or 750 watts. It's an A rating for dust emissions, so that's good if you've got allergies. It gets a C, which is average. Well, it's a little bit better than average, actually. A D, a C minus to a D plus would be average. But a C rating for carpet cleaning, that's dust pickup from carpets. It gets an A, though, for hard floors. And it's 77 decibels, which isn't as quiet, obviously, as the more expensive Ultra One, but 77 isn't too bad. I'll be testing that actually when I do the demo because I now have a decibel meter, again supplied off my Amazon wish list from David. So I'll be able to see how accurate that is, but it all depends on how far away you hold the meter because obviously if I was to hold it right next to the motor, it might be louder than 77 decibels, but that's not where I'm going to be listening to the machine. I'll probably hold it up at sort of head height because that's where it's going to affect me, obviously where my ears are. It uh, uses 25.2 kilowatt hours per annum on average. So there we go. There's also another little swing ticket attached. I do like the chocolate brown. And it's got the orange, which I'll show you. You can't really see the orange at the moment. It's hidden behind the other energy label. So it's another swing ticket just saying it's a triple A cleaner. Power force, all floor performance with ease. Superb performance anywhere you need with Power Pro system. 360 motion, see 360 degree motion technology wheels for maximum maneuverability and full access to the dust bag and filter with the 180 degree access lid. So it's got a lot of access and oh that's not that's just there. That's just a sticker with the same information on. Here are the wheels. It is oh that's open. Let's just close that. So yes, it's, it is reminiscent to Miele's entry line. It's, it's probably a little bit more stylish than that, but it's a similar sort of build. I believe it's made in China. Ah, no, it's not actually. I'm surprised it's made in the EU. So they must all be, I, I just thought at this price point it would be Chinese, but it's no, it's made in the EU, so that could be Hungary. I know they used to make them in Hungary. But anyway, so it's made it somewhere in Europe. So here's the label that some of you people might like to see. Can you see it? While we're up here we've got the little storage bracket on the back. Here are the wheels. 
I'd say the Miele wheels are slightly better than these, but they're still, it seems pretty good. Um, and there's a little helpline number there, should you wish to call. You've also got the parking bracket here if you need to pause your cleaning. Oh, I like it. I think it's I think it's more stylish than the I think is it the I mean I want to say S C one. I'm not I don't Milo have, have really mucked about with their names and numbers of late. I like that I like this. Power Pro System on that side. They do this in a red colour as well, which is uh, a slightly um, more deluxe version. It's very similar. Um, but I just prefer this because I like I like the brown. You don't often get brown vacuums like this these days. So yeah, it's got a nice. Um, it says it's ergo shock around the bumper. It's quite a little textured part under the handle for carrying. It's pretty standard layout. You've got large foot operated switch for your cord rewind and a large on off switch. And you've got this variable dial, which doesn't have any indication on it of the suggested settings. It's just got a plus and a minus. Quite stiff to turn. I think a lot of people, though, when they have a machine with variable speed, they just put it on maximum all the time. And you'll probably find that that's what you would do, unless you're cleaning curtains or something where you will need to turn the power down. It says hygiene filter 12, so it does have an A rating, so it's, as I say, it's one of the highest uh, filtration systems. You've got S bag, large bag capacity, there's a piston grip, not piston grip, a piston indicator just there in the middle of your screen that will indicate when to check the bag. And here's the orange, it's only, you know, there's not a lot of orange in this, but the orange is supplied by the exhaust, well, one of the exhaust filters. Here we have open. So yes, it does completely flip right open, so you've got full access. So yes, the orange is the diffuser, which will also help muffle the sound level. I'm wondering whether now, while they're available, I know it's quite a new model, to, to buy a spare one of those, because I'm feeling in a few years to come they might still provide that but might just do a generic black and I would I would hate not to be able to have the orange because it just just makes it for me having the little orange accent color so here's the HEPA I'll check in the uh, when I do the video the demo but I think all these are washable filter system yes it is it is washable. So there's your pleated HEPA. Uh, there's no other filter under there, but the motor is fully enclosed in that plastic. Even if you were to have this switched on, there's nothing you can touch in there that's going to cause any harm. It's got a nice seal around it here as well, where the filter goes in. And of course, there's also seals um, around the actual pleated HEPA part. That goes in there. Is that the right way or is it this way? No, oh, it must be that way actually. Does it make a difference? Not sure. I think it probably does because that little thing sticks up there and yes, I think that's the way it goes. So you've got this little holder for the bag. Let's pop that down there. Quite a small bag. It is a compact vacuum. So this is the S, S bag classic long performance. So you can actually take the whole thing to your bin and before you remove it from the holder, obviously you can go like that. In fact, when you take it out of the cleaner, you can do that. So when you're carrying it to your bin, you're not gonna get any dust spilling out. And then of course you just pull the whole bag out, put that in your bin and slot in a new one. Just here like that. I'll just open that up and you've got a pre-motor filter at the front, well not at the front, at the back behind, whoops a daisy, I expect that can be washed as well, it's got that little 
filter. The bag is your main filter, of course, in a bagged vacuum. So this is a secondary filter, so the air first passes through the bag, then through this filter, then through into the motor. So this will protect the motor from any large particles that might escape the bag. And then of course it goes through the final HEPA filter. And then finally you've got the orange diffuser. So that fits in there. Like that. Close that up. So yes, you can see that it has you've got real full access to the filter and the bag with it opening fully, which is nice. Let's put that in. So that just fits in there. And I assume we'll just try using it bagless. If you try and use it bagless, you won't be able to close it. So if you can't close the lid, you won't have any suction. So obviously if you're buying a bagged vacuum, you're buying a bagged vacuum because you like the cleanness of the dirt disposal. So obviously you'd always want to use it with a bag. And personally, Sometimes they might cost a bit more, but I would always, always use genuine bags in my bagged vacuums. They're designed to go with the machine and uh, they'll give you the best performance. So that's in correctly. We can close the lid now and press it down. Oops, hang on a minute. Have I done something wrong? It's not allowing me to close it properly. Maybe that is... No. There we go. I'll look at that. I think it's not clicked. Not clicked properly, but I'm sure I'll sort that. Let's pull out the cord. It's got one of those flat cords which does mean that it will be able to hold a lot more cord than some. It's a space saving feature. I can't actually press that down. I'm sure I've done something wrong here. I, I think it's, oh, that's, yes, that's it. The filter really needs to be clicked into place until it clicks, ah, oh, there's some, that's probably why. There we are. I don't think it was actually fitted correctly at the factory because that wasn't thoroughly cl uh, properly closed. Oh, that's good. So you really have to press that down until it clicks all the way around. So that does provide a very tight seal. So you can really be sure that the air coming out of this clean, it's not going to escape around the edges. There we are. That's how it should be. Right, now the flexi wind will work. It's going to get caught up because it's it's just been un unraveled. There we are, that's a, a good rewind action. Just going to turn it on briefly. Oh, now, now because the top lid is closed better, that moves easier. I think it was because it was slightly open, it was rubbing. That's good. In goes the hose. Oh, it's nice to feel when you put the hose in. You can feel that the, the little seal is actually rubbing against the side, so it's, it's, it's providing a good seal. I love that. So at the moment, time of making this video, this costs around £90 on Amazon, about 88 But it has fluctuated. I've seen this going up to nearly 200 I think. So I don't know if it's really worth 200 but um, I think for 90 it seems a pretty well put together vacuum. I like its looks. Let's uh, plug her in. I just happen to have a nearby socket today, so that's good. That's, it might turn on, I'm not sure. That's an unusual noise. Gosh, that's strange. <laughs> Let's hope there's nothing wrong with it. Look at all this mess. Look at this mess away, look. Down to looking at that mess, distracting you. Did I tell you what the wattage was? You might have seen, actually, when I showed the rating. Wow, 600 watts, nom. I'm sure it said 7750. 
600 watts. Right. So on, on the lowest setting, that's nothing. But it might be okay. Now one thing I just realized actually, oops, no dusting brush. I like to dust with a vacuum, especially a high filtration vacuum. But I will, before the demo, I'll try some other tools on. It might fit standard tools. Yes, that's right, the Red Deluxe model did come with a dusting brush. So I'm sure I can get, if I haven't got one that fits, I'm sure I can get one. So I do like a dusting brush. Okay, let's turn it back on. Right, it's more like it. So we're about halfway now. So, for 600 watts, that's pretty powerful. You know, in the old days, before we had the EU regulations limiting the wattage, something like this would have been, I don't know, 1800, maybe 2000 watts. It's not necessary, you know, to have such high wattage. Okay, I'm just, just going to give it a very brief go. Oh, I can stand up. And I'll start it on the full power. We'll just see if it's got a, a soft start feature. Might not, might not need to really. It's only 600 watts. Let's hope the nozzle doesn't skip. So certainly doesn't skip it, it 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 sticks to the carpet a little bit too much as I found with cleaners sometimes of this type what I will do is lower the suction a bit to see if we can have a happy medium that's that's better better. Pretty robust I'd say if I lift it up from the hose. Not supposed to do this obviously. But I think you know it seems pretty well made. Certainly as well made as the entry level kneeler. Definitely. Let me just untangle that. There we go. So all in all first impressions. Yes it's a nice compact Nicely manoeuvrable little vacuum and I think for under £90 it should prove to be quite a good deal. So I like it. So far so good. You've got your little parking bracket there look. So you can pause. That will work with the other nozzle too. We'd just like to have seen a dusting brush. I know a lot of people don't use a dusting brush to vacuum. Uh, with their vacuum, but I do find it seems to be more efficient. If you've got a vacuum with a good rating for filtration, it makes sense to use it to do your dusting. Because dusting the old-fashioned way with a dry duster, you're just moving dust about, aren't you? And some of it will go onto the floor to be vacuumed up, but a lot of it will settle back on your furniture. The next best thing is to dust with a damp cloth, so at least it traps the dust. But personally, I do like, if you've got a decent dusting brush on your vacuum, to do your high level dusting with your vacuum, it just keeps all the dust inside the machine. Let's just rewind the cable. So that's uh, all in all, I do like that little vacuum. It's early days of course, and I haven't done my demonstration. I'll be testing this on a variety of surfaces. Carpets and floors. Seeing how convenient it is to use on the stairs. Obviously the hose will not reach up the stairs. But being the size it is, it probably will stand on a standard stair. But it's pretty lightweight. 
so it should be okay for stair cleaning. And of course, if you want to take, to take it out into your car and vacuum your car with it. Let's just get all the bits together, show you what you get with the vacuum. So I'll need to fit on that little bracket. So that's it for this little unboxing and first look. This is the AG Powerforce bag cylinder vacuum cleaner. Yep, it's a nice, stylish, compact machine. Stay tuned, I'll be doing the full review and demonstration soon on my channel. If you've got any questions about this cleaner, please ask in the comments section below. And if, like Patrick, you'd like to donate something to my channel, you could either donate through my PayPal me link or check my Amazon wish list. There's lots of items on there from very expensive to very cheap, but um, anything is gratefully received. And if you buy anything from my wish list and you want me to, I'll give you a shout out in the video where I feature the item that you've chosen. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.